Hello everyone, welcome back. So, just in the background here, just some jobs that I've done. Um, some of the videos you've probably already seen, some of the clips. Um, I know you wouldn't have seen this clip from my phone. I have loads and loads of clips on my phone that I have to get on. Um, the reason I, I don't really upload them that much is because of the black strips either side. I'm not sure how I'll fix that. Um, I mean, I've already recorded the footage when I'm holding the phone upright where I should have turned it on its side but all oh, that's not really that important anyway you can still see the job and what I mostly want to talk about is curves and rounds curved walls and all them sorts of things obviously when you're starting out plastering you might have a round to do underneath the stairs and um, most people starting apprenticeships will basically learn how to plaster from plastering onto the stairs. Um, but a lot of DIYers probably won't really tackle that type of job first. They'll maybe go for a straight wall, which probably is actually easier than the likes of a, a curved ceiling with a round on it and stuff. But um, no, I was just thinking I have done quite a lot of videos where I have arches in them. Um, a couple of videos where I have curved walls and I show how I key coated the curved walls and how I plastered skin coated them as well and finished them off. Um, so I think I have maybe two videos where I demonstrate on curved wall and stuff. Um, but the likes of just simple rounds and barrel seals, um, I might possibly make some hard to videos on them. Um, not really sure sort of what popularity that they have out there um but obviously anybody going to do a loft will need to, to know how to do it um the reason you do curves on the likes of lofts um where we're heading up to here now is mostly speed um it's a bit quicker and that's actually speed and it's a wee bit easier as well the fact that if you're trying to keep them angles at the top straight it's going to take you a lot of time, a lot of patience. You're going to have to straighten them with bottom, and even when you're skimming, you're going to have to keep a feather edge on them or a speed skim and constantly keep your eye on them, keep them clean. So it will be a bit slower that way. Um, whereas if you don't, if you round them, it's quicker. You don't have to sort of panic about that. And there's an arch door that I was talking about thinking of sort of maybe doing a few demos how I form the arch and how I then plaster it, how I would beat it the way I would do it. Obviously like I get quit people lot in some of my videos, a lot of people tell me basically that it's better to do it this way and it's better to do it that way. But it's really is better to do the job that suits you with the tools that suit you. There's no there, there is a, a wrong way of doing things, but there's also lots of right ways of doing things. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, so I just want to say that there, like I, I have, there is quite a lot of things that people say they do it this way and that way, and that that's good for them, but it may not be good for everyone. But obviously, I always show what works for me, um, and I always do try and show what I think sort of will work for a lot of DIYers and people starting out will help them um, and in my opinion anyway what, what I feel would make it easier I'm always trying to make life easier for myself and obviously things are sure and that sure and something and being putting it really trying to confuse you and, and trying to keep it simple and keep it to the point and just so it's easier to remember and sort of keep them stages and steps in your mind when you're doing it um, but that that's sort of the way I go about things and um, the same as people ask me certain mixes um, uh, which I probably will do soon will be a slap dash video and um, it's a wet dash it's it's a a wet mix with stones through it and you basically splatter it to the wall with a hurling shell a dasher um, so there's a lot of people talking about different ways to mix it and stuff like but again um, the, the way you're taught probably will be one of the most comfortable ways for any plaster 
to go about things because that's the way they were shown first and and sort of whatever sticks to your mind will always stick with you and you'll always go down that method and especially if it works if it works for you and um, don't change it you know unless there's another way that might be easier and you might look at it and think actually that might work better for me or speed your day up make you a bit less tired at the end of the day um but yeah i'm de definitely thinking of doing some demos with with more like this here one in particular there is a video of this i'll probably put all the links in the descriptions and um, so you can follow them back and find them so keeping just in case you haven't seen them before and um, but there is quite a lot of videos on the channel at the minute i think there's 200 plus now and we're reaching almost a million views and um, i think I'm not sure but it's almost two million minutes watched as well which is good because it means every every time somebody's watching more or less watching for two minutes long and um, which i'm at six minutes now so the big percentage of the ends are already gone off this video <clears throat> but um yeah just just thought i i would point that out and obviously the ones that are still here there may be a possible giveaway when we hit a million views i'm not sure um i might just leave that until maybe 1.5 million and um, maybe try and push get, get the 3 million minutes watch up as well and um, do do a sort of a big giveaway for that because i definitely enjoyed the last giveaway um it definitely was good fun and um, so definitely is a possibility but um yeah that's that's more or less it now if anybody is wanting sort of more detail on round walls and curved ceilings let me know thanks for watching guys